Hello! Today I'm back to show you two new plates by Bunny Nails. These are the two Halloween plates that she just put together. Um, they're, here you can see the whole thing, so they're kind of, they're the, the bigger, more rectangular uh, plates, and they have a ton of images on them, so let me go through them and show them to you. Um, first up, full nail bat image, which is really neat because instead of just being like, um, other kinds of bats, it is more of kind of the Batman style bat. Um, then we have uh, a full, a big one to kind of go along with that, a cute jack-o'-lantern, a couple of kitties, which could actually be used for uh, things other than Halloween. You got a different style of bat and a little skull. And actually, this skull is a good place for me to kind of stop and say that um, in her designs and her plates, she has a couple of different styles. Some of her styles are just flat out kind of spooky, which is great. And some of them are a little bit, I don't know if campy is the right word, but cute isn't exactly the right word either. They're a little cuter, but they're not cutesy. And I think that it's a really good sort of midway point between the cute cute, too cutesy kind of stuff and the scary, scary stuff. So if you don't really want a scary manicure, but you also don't go for this super cute kind of deal, she has a style in some of her images that really bridges those two, I think. Okay, a couple of, of um, crossed bones there and a devil's fork, which I don't really have in any of my plates, so that's very cool. These, the trick-or-treat and then the little candies, I love this because it seems like every year, I, one of my challenges that, I, that I'm in has a trick-or-treat theme, and I don't really have any good kind of candy that I could use for that kind of, of a theme, so this is going to be really cool. A little mask, and then this is just, I mean, I love all of the different scary jack-o'-lanterns. That is so cool. There's actually another really cool one on her other plate, too, that, that I love uh, for different reasons. This is a, a, a background image that you can give kind of more texture in the background so it's not necessarily an image itself but it can give some really spooky effects here we have some crosses and some potentially spooky candles but they could be used for other things too um, if you like to do a haunted graveyard or haunted house kind of scene these are good little elements to have for your stars and your moons and your clouds and then a couple of uh, ghosts again cute but not so much cutesy and then boo, because that's, uh, of course, an important word. you got a couple more ja jack-o'-lanterns. She's got a lot of different jack-o'-lanterns of a lot of different sizes, and I really like that. Okay, so I'm going to back off here just a little, because I want you to see how big this spider web is. So this is bigger than, you know, the full nail images here, and I think this is becoming more popular to have this, which, you know, you can see it's way bigger than my nail is ever going to need. But the great thing about that is, is you can stamp it over like all of your nails. And so you can get different parts of the web and make your full, all of your nails look like one continuous web or just have different areas of the web so it doesn't look like the exact same image on each of your nails. <laughs> brains which is very cool and an actual brain so if you're doing zombie manicures and then right below that two zo three zombies although I think this could this, you could do a Frankenstein with that too I think but anyway three zombies and this guy's reaching right for your brain but I don't have any zombies on any of my other Halloween plates so I cannot tell you how excited I am about that all right with the um, with the with the webs you got a bunch of different spiders of different kinds and they're all creepy and they're all awesome and I like being able to have different ones you know I don't necessarily want to have the exact same spider on every single one of my nails having different spiders to play around with is really great this is a pretty standard witch on a flying broom and this is not a criticism of her plate in any way but sort of a criticism of all the nail plates that I have one thing I don't have is a witch in any other position. How about a witch, like a stirring cauldron kind of witch? Or, you know, that would be another thing to have, like including a Frankenstein and maybe some more zombies. So, you know, next person who's putting together some cool Halloween plates, I would love to see that. Voodoo doll, which I think is really just adorable. I mean, you know, adorable in a, in a spooky kind of icky way, but you know what I mean. Um, uh, pot boiling, see how cool would it be to have a witch there with like something to stir that you could put next to this or on the next nail over. Um, great, almost insta-ready graveyard scene. All right, 
one of my absolute favorites is this dancing skeleton okay again you're not going to get him on one nail probably that's probably not going to work out too well but you could put him over you know all of your nails how neat would that be if you have longer nails you might even get him on just a couple of them you can use different parts of him could you you could just use that part how cool would that be tons of stuff that you can do there and I think that's a new trend that you're seeing or that I'm seeing in um, some of the independent plate makers like Bundy Nails um, going a little bit different with some of the images uh, t for different kinds of stamping instead of just you know one nail one stamp I love it all right we've got some zombie hands um, this zombie has seen a little bit of battle apparently he's been out there um, for a little while like in The Walking Dead he's been out in the in the danger zones and battling things out for a while um oh my gosh i love this vampire and this is exactly what i mean like perfectly what i mean about it's not exactly cutesy you know it's not like bunnies flowers but it's just it's more more of like the fun campy side of um halloween and i, and I adore it vampire mouth very cool um a flaming i guess whatever you want it to be flaming eyeball a flaming you, you tell me it could be anything a haunted house and oh my goodness perfect for splotches of blood or zombie pus or whatever and there's um a splatter image on another set of plates that i just reviewed and this would be great to use along with them for great splatter manicures of course for halloween but for other stuff as well um here we have some grass which is really neat for you know, again, you can use this for a ton of different hol holidays, not just Halloween, but you could use it as a basis for if you were doing a creepy, you know, zombies coming after you or, or um, haunted house scene or a uh, graveyard scene. Um, and this is one of the things that I love best about these two plates. You're going to see more on the other one, but she's got a number of really awesome the yeah, that'll sweat those kinds of images so if you're if you if you celebrate that holiday in addition to halloween or if you like that look for halloween these are great um i love this the flames for any kind of devil manicure and check these little guys out I, they're kind of like imps they're kind of devils they could be whatever you want them to be i think they're awesome and that's um another thing in addition to the witch i don't have a whole lot of like devils i have a couple but I really am enjoying um, having the addition of these. Okay, so that's um, that's HDC from Stamping Plate from Bunny Nails. And now we're going to take a look at HDD Stamping Plate by Bunny Nails. You can buy each of these separately. But I'm just showing them to you together. Because basically, really, because I want to get them up on the blog as quickly as possible. So if you want to get this in time for Halloween, you're able to. This is one of my favorites on the two. This um, full nail image with the different kind of jack-o'-lanterns. How cool would this be with like a light orange polish stamped on top of it with a darker orange polish. And then you could even go in and just put some, you know, spread some little dots over where the triangles are with um, yellow or evil kind of green light coming out. Oh, just awesome. Okay, so this is Frankenstein-ish and it's it's nice to have one of the more, you know, fun Frankensteins. I love this devil guy. I actually think that he could be um, scary or kind of more happy, depending on however you wanted to play him up. Skull and crossbones, skull and crossbones. I love this different kind of ghost that she's got here. She's got three different kinds of ghosts on here, and I love it. How cute is that bat? Oh, my goodness. And there you've got a more kind of fun spider to go with the fun spider web if you want rather than the creepy spiders from the other plate more kitties oh, love them you can use them for so much and i think this is a cute little werewolf how adorable oh my gosh i just love that it's adorable sorry i think i might have hurt somebody's ears there okay look look at this so different faces different jack-o'-lantern faces you could do like one on each nail oh i love it this is um this reminds me of uh, Nightmare um before Christmas, that Tim Burton kind of feel. Oh, I love it. Okay, this guy is pixelated, a little pixelated skeleton. And here you go. If you don't want to worry about you know doing your graveyard scene, you got one right there. Just stamp the different parts on your different nails. You are good to go. And um, if you want to create your own, here you've got a great little 
um, tombstone. How cool is that owl? Again, not just for um, Halloween. A different kind of ghost. This is the other kind of ghost, and I like him. He's got a little bit of edge. You know, he'll he'll take you out, that ghost. Watch out for him. Um, how awesome is that tree? That is possibly one of my favorite images of all time. That is so amazing. And I skipped this one, which looks to me like kind of like a weaving of crosses. Very cool. Sk anything with skulls, I'm going to adore. So, you know, and here's another little devil. One of the cuter devils, I think. And then you got a coffin, another spider deal going on, more skulls and bones. Oh, gosh. Can you tell how excited I am by these? I'm just like, I don't even know what to do with myself. Um, a little happy kind of kitty jack-o'-lantern face. And a little trick-or-treater. Oh, my goodness. And vines, if you want to, you know, for scary things. And, and we got some ravens below. And another little trick-or-treater. Oh, my gosh. So cute. I can't even stand it. Okay, we got some gory eyeballs, which is always a good thing to have. This is so awesome. Them stacked on top of each other and leaving. So, oh, uh, okay, let me just, here we go. Splat. I love these little fun bats. And you got a little hatchet. Uh, this is a little bit more creepy and scary. And here's part of a skeleton with your rib cage. And um, I'm going to come back to this. This reminds me, I got some important things to say about that little um, kind of cute little Grim Reaper guy and um, a row of skeletons for you to use. Some pixelated skulls and crossbones. Let me make sure I'm getting that right for you. And some ravens. Although I think these could be other kinds of birds too. It depends on what color and what scene you want to put them in, I think. Uh, again, if you want to do a graveyard scene, perfect for that. A couple more potentially um, creepy, spooky candles or altar candles. And then here are, oh, how gorgeous. And then the, the guy and all the other the little sweaters, I love it. And then if you want to do your own sugar skull, you can draw your own skull and then stamp and, you know, whatever color you want for those. And, and then you've got a kind of a different style one, which I think is really cool. Oh, my goodness. And then you've got a couple of ready-made ones with really great detailing on them. Um, I'm, and just, uh, I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to get in here and start using them. So one of the things that I wanted to say, and this reminds me, um, if you follow my blog, you probably recently saw me do um, a, a manicure with those images. So you're probably saying, well, okay, so all right, how many of these images are repeats from the set that she had? that she put out last year, which was a full holiday set that only had, I think, four um, Halloween plates, and they were little small ones, like this. Here's one of them. So, okay, how many of these are repeats? Well, you'll see that there are some that are familiar, but very few of them are actual repeats. So these pumpkins here are the same size and the same exact image, but this even this one is a little bit bigger than this. So if you want to vary size, you can do that. And then look, you can see this skeleton here is bigger than this one. I know you're saying, okay, that's not a huge difference. Um, but it can make a difference if you're doing a collage uh, of um, stamped images and you want to have some variation. And in other cases, the size difference is really big. So where is my, hold on. And this one, we've got your vampire mouth, and then this vampire mouth. And if you're doing a manicure, that can make a really big difference if you want this on most of your nails, but, and, but there's no way that that's going to fit on your pinky, so you can use that on your pinky. And here's another thing. I actually have, from this plate right here, I've got some of these zombie hands on me right now. Raw. Check this out. I love this. Same zombie hands, but mirror images. So if you want to have like a pair of hands reaching out like this one and that one reaching out together, you can do it. So in this guy is new, not a repeat from here. So they're the same size these ones are, but they're mirror images. So even though there are some um, repeat images, most of these on this plate, on these two, these two new plates are new and the ones that are repeats aren't exact repeats. So if you're thinking to yourself, well, there's enough one here that I like, so I'm tempted to get them. It annoys me that there's some repeats. Well, now if you're, you know, if especially if you're a dedicated stamper, which you probably are, 
if you're buying this and you like stamping, having that kind of um, variability to play around with is a really great thing. Um, but again, I would say that over two thirds of the images on these plates are not on her plates from that last year's set. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go test these out for you, and I will be right back with that. Okay. Okay, I'm back with the stamping test. You can see I was in such a hurry to get this posted for you that I didn't even put any uh, base polish on. Uh, so here is that skull one. I just love it. Nice and crisp, beautiful. And that's from HDD. And from HDC, I tested out this one for you. So let me get that there. There we go. So there's that little ghost and part of the kitty and that cool tree right there. Um, and the fact that this is missing is not part, it's not the fault of the plate, it's just that I kind of did that way, just rolled it on that way, so that was me, how I rolled it on, but you can see all parts of that image just coming out beautifully on the nail. So these are high quality, you don't have to worry about that. Oh, and then the last thing I wanted to show you was the difference in size here. This is your standard Conad plate. And here's one of the images, so you can see that these overall images, these full nail images, are just huge. Um, so if you if you have a problem with Conad covering your whole nail, I don't think you're going to have to worry nearly as much with these uh, about getting your full nail covered by these full nail images here. So great quality, they stamp beautifully, a full range of both sort of things that are on the more cute side, the more fun side, kid friendly, kind of kid appropriate, um, and then maybe stuff that's possibly not so kid friendly, but is cool for older kids or adults. Um, and if you're like me and you like the really creepy stuff, you've got plenty of that here. So I highly recommend um, getting this. And if you are watching this the day or maybe the day after I post this up, you can still get these in time for Halloween if you are ordering in the United States, at least I believe so. I don't want to speak for her, but in theory it should be possible. So, um, but if you are interested and you do maybe want these for a Halloween day manicure, I would say definitely don't wait. Go and check her out. And of course, I will put all ordering information and all that kind of stuff down there in the box. Um, and then of course, also on my um, blog. I will have still shots if you want to see um, the plates, uh, the sections in still shots. And um, there you go. I love it. I'm excited. You can tell. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this has been helpful. All right. Bye.